Hello everybody, Tanner Pfeiffer here with Pfeiffer Football. Thank you so much for tuning into this video. I've got a little different setup going, so hopefully you guys enjoy it. The audio is probably going to sound just a bit different. Um, let me know if you guys can hear it okay. Anyways, I want to talk about my thoughts and opinions on this Monday night football game you have here in uh, the final game of week seven. Okay, you had the Patriots and the Chicago Bears. And the big controversy coming out of this game is going to be whether it's Bailey Zappi or Mac Jones at quarterback for the rest of the season. Here's what I think the Patriots are going to do and what Bill Belichick is going to do. We all know that he doesn't like to talk to the media. We all know that he's not going to name a starter publicly. It's just going to come out on the depth chart or the injury report. You know, Mac Jones still dealing with that high ankle sprain. People were thought, thinking he was going to be out longer, maybe, you know, four to six weeks, six to eight weeks, something like that. Um, he was never placed on injured reserve. So it was Bailey Zappi's games all the way. He was 2-0 as a starter. I think he had, what, two touchdowns and an interception, something like that as a starter, uh, over 400 yards. Uh, so 2-0 until tonight, you know, he had a great first half when he played. I think he went four for four with like under 100 yards and a touchdown. Um, I was at work. I didn't get to watch the game. I'm just reading off of Twitter and what people were saying. And I've got the stats pulled up right here on my laptop. So I'm thinking what's going on here and, and and what's happening right now with Mac Jones and Bailey Zappi what's gonna you know and what they what they did and how they performed in the second half it looks like they were shut out the second half Mac Jones finished the night going three for six in a pick um, that's when they let Bailey Zappi finish the whole game I guess um, there was an, a, a tweet or a report at halftime saying that Bill Belichick said Mac Jones and Bailey Zappi were both going to be playing in the second half. I'm not sure if that happened. Like I said, I didn't get to watch the game. Um, but from what I've seen from Bailey Zappi and, and the first, well, I guess the last two weeks and tonight, um, he ended up finishing the night 14 of 22, 185 yards, a touchdown and two interceptions. And the Patriots did not score in the second half, I don't think. Um... Mac Jones had three carries for 24 yards, and Bailey Zappi had two carries, negative one yard, so it looks like he was just sacked. He, you know, Sometimes those carries are counted as sacks, or you know, that's why he had a negative, negative one yard. Um, but guys, what is the deal here, and what is my opinion on who should start for the rest of the season? Or here's what I'm going to say. Start Bailey Zappi. Okay, start Bailey Zappi. We all know what he did at college. I don't need to go over his stats in college. He's a fourth round draft pick. Mac Jones, he did great for the Patriots last year. For a rookie, he did pretty good, okay? You couldn't really ask for more out of a rookie quarterback last year. Um, but here's my thing, here's my opinion. Until Mac Jones is 100% ready to go, Start Bailey Zappi. Don't rush Mac Jones back to the field. Start Bailey Zappi. He went 2-0 previously, starting for you. He is a rookie, yes, but he's gonna face some tough defenses. And, and to be honest, Chicago has always had a pretty stingy defense. They locked up that second half and didn't allow a score. That's fine, you know, it happens. Um, but before that he was doing well managing the games and and like i said he was 2-0 and, and but don't rush mac jones back okay he only had six pass attempts zappy had 22 um, but i do think that the ceiling for zappy is here while the ceiling for mac jones is here i think now because there's trade rumors circling all around now that mac jones is going to be traded to the uh, carolina panthers or to the Indianapolis Colts because Matt Ryan has been benched for backup Sam Ellinger and we just don't know how Sam Ellinger is really truly gonna do um, I do like I just see Zappi being a future star not like a star but he's gonna be like at least their starter he's gonna be the QB one in New England that's how I see it um, you can't take and judge his his whole future based on just the second half of tonight. Um, like I said, Chicago's known for always having a pretty good defense and they have for the last several years. It used to be better several years ago. They've gotten just a little bit worse year by year, losing some key pieces of that defense and people are just getting older. But I'm just telling you guys, Bailey Zappi all the way from, from in, just in my opinion, um, you can't base 
his whole rest of the season off of tonight. Um, and that's just the way it goes. Uh, Stevenson had 11 carries uh, for 39 yards. Damian Harris only three carries for eight yards. I think Damian Harris might, might be dealing with some injuries. That's why Stevenson's getting the most. Um, but guys, they gotta get that. Um, they've gotta get that wide receiver court going. Devonta Parker led tonight with receptions, three catches for 68 yards. There was that one big catch that Zappi completed. Um, Jacoby Myers only had two receptions for 34 yards. So they just kinda they gotta get something clicking, obviously. And I think that something needs to change with the offensive play calling. I think Matt Patricia has been running that offense. Don't quote me on that because I'm not entirely sure. I'm not a Patriots fan. I'm just going over my thoughts here uh i but i believe matt patricia has been calling the offense and he has been a defensive coach his entire career right like they just need to change something up there um I, i'm not really sure exactly who's the offensive coordinator so don't like i said don't quote me on that um but they just need to change something up the patriots are sitting at three and four but I'm still riding with Bailey Zappi until I know Mac Jones is 100%. If Mac Jones does get back to 100%, maybe I think about starting him. Um, but right now, maybe just field some offers and see if anyone's actually going to offer anything. Get some draft picks. We all know Bill, Bill Belichick is, is, is a mastermind. Usually makes good trades and, and really takes care of the team. Let's see if they found the gym here at quarterback. Let's ride with Zappy until Mac Jones is 100%. Let's keep him. Let's keep Mac Jones healthy and maybe see what people are offering. The Patriots seem to always draft good backup quarterbacks. They had Jimmy Garoppolo, Jacoby Brissett. So let's just, you know, let's just keep it safe. Let's see what you do with Zappy. Let's see who you draft next year as in a backup role later round, something like that. And let's see what Bill Belichick can come with. Don't panic, Patriots fans. Don't panic. I think you're going to be okay. Let's roll with Bailey Zappi all the way, guys. Tell me your thoughts down below. Thanks for watching, guys. Appreciate the support if you made it this far in the video. Stay sweet. See you.